I've been on the stage a lot at CCC, but not for Kultur Cosmod and the Fusion Festival, because usually I'm talking from the Zentrum für Politische Schönheit, the Center for Political Beauty. But earlier this summer, this topic um, was in the media a lot for police patrols on the Fusion Festival, and I was very involved with this. So I'm doing this talk for you. And um, in the end, we will have a QA, and a and I've also brought Eule from Kultur Cosmos, and um, he will also be available for the Q&A. Here's a short video. I'm Nils Hoffmann Ritterbusch. I'm the president of the police in Neubrandenburg. We have a statement for the security uh, at this festival, and we were criticized by this. And myself, I was also criticized for this. The, pol the will of the police is not to stop the fusion to cancel the fusion, but the security needs to take care of this festival, this event, without any dangers. The security process should follow nationwide standards. And if this is happening, this for all the security officers, uh, not only the police, the event should be safe for all visitors, which means visitor, normal visitors, artists, uh, vendors, all of them, for all of them. This festival should take place safely. Since November, there were many talks which we have proof for, for the people who are organizing the festival. And since that point in time, the uh, talks with the police uh, were talking about the unspecific things in this security process. And the police pointed out these uh, uh, lacks in the security process, but um, we have point. Uh, the police uh, has pointed out that there might be dangerous people visiting the festivals, and this is also due to a statement by the organizers. There are 10,000 links alternative visitors coming to the festival who I can't tell uh, why the police should be on the festival. This would lead to dynamics which are we are not able to be control. You have to agree that this statement is like kind of extreme. So, I have a bit of a remix there. Yeah, I did remix this a little bit, but mostly this is the original. Who was it? That's the police president, Niels Hoffmann Ritterbusch. Some parts of the movement tell, call him Ritter Kokosnuss. And he's the police president from Neubrandenburg, which doesn't mean new, the new Neu here uh, means not like an original packaging, but in, he just joined in 2016 the police press, uh, police station there. And in 2017, there wasn't a festival. So in 2018, he was the first time seeing everything happening around the fusion. And he wasn't happy with everything going on. And the cooperation with the police, and he wasn't happy about how this was going, that the police was not present at the festival. So at 2019, he wanted to change it. So this video was a press conference from the police station Neubrandenburg. 
And the first thing he says, no one wants to cancel the fusion. And on the 15th of April, we got a letter, which you can see here, from the Polizeipräsidium Neubrandenburg to the um, local um, offices, which says the police is saying that the fusion festival can't happen, actually. And in this moment, we were thinking, our, in the previous talks, in the previous meetings, where we were willing to compromise and now we were saw that we had to change this. But like, what is this actually all about? In 2018, just shortly after the festival, there were meetings after the fusion, where usually uh, all the officers are coming together and talking about the water quality, talking about security, how was the... Um, Third and like the firefighters, but only the police and the Ordnungsamt uh, were joining here, and they just listened to us and like what we were happy with, what we were not happy with, and very quickly they changed the topic. So uh, and they wanted to talk about how the cooperation with the police should happen in the next year and that they want uh, a police station at the festival and want to be there 24-7. This shouldn't be shocking to you because you already have a police station here at the festival. It's just around the corner there. We just took this picture. But for us, this was really a new thing because for t over 20 years, we didn't have a police station at the festival. So here you can see um, the uh, traffic uh, controls and on the other side you can see what the police was wanted to have at the festival. So the blue arrow you can see the main entrance, there is a footbridge uh, f from one side to the main festival area. So there, the police wanted to have an area for the police station, and they wanted to have parking lots for 20 uh, police cars, where they wanted to have shifts, and where they could drive in with 20 police cars to this parking lot and go out with 20 police cars when they changed the shift. And for us, this was a no-go, because that would have been a provocation for the festival attendees. So we said no. So we said, here at the red arrow, you can have a police station where we have this red arrow, and this outside of the main festival area. It's still on the airport area, but it's outside the festival areas. So it's not in the inner area, but it's a short walk over there. And then the police had an other offer, which is the second blue arrow in the middle you see there, where, you, where they just wanted to be behind our fence where people enter. So the police could walk around freely on the festival area. And they wanted to have civil officers on the campgrounds and just being able to walk around. So we actually made the mistake that our offer was already the maximum we were willing to offer and they were like, oh, we already have an offer which is here. So like we have a different offer which is there, and so we were only able to repeat the first offer we made, saying either it's this or it's nothing. So in uh, this was the first meeting I joined, which was in April 2019, which is called an Emter Runde in Röbel. Um, so that's a place close by. 
And in the last 10 years, the festival didn't grow anymore. It was 60,000 to 80,000 people for the past 10 years. And like actually maybe more people because some people jumped, just jumped the fence. Uh, so the festival stayed the same amount of people for the past 10 years. But like the local offices joining in for this meeting uh, just continued to be more institutions involved. And so there were a lot of uh, local institutions involved which were invited to this meeting and at the meeting a lot of them asked to not be invited because they didn't know what they were doing there actually. And Ms. Siegmund um, at this meeting said at the beginning of this meeting there is one new thing this year which is that the police will have a police station at the festival area and uh, like everyone was looking here uh, how do we get you down from this tree where you just catapulted yourself on top of uh, because like this is not where we are going so this was the first part of the meeting and like for five minutes uh, a lot of the uh, local officers said yeah everything is fine and some just said we don't know why we are, what we are doing here we don't want to be invited anymore and in the second round we had there was just the health services and the police and the Ordnungsamt and us and so then we talked again about the police station and we said in our security concept we won't have a police station at the festival area and the police said first of all we won't agree to the security concept in this case no matter what else is in there. There can be 10 pages or a thousand pages as long as we don't have this police station from in the security concept. Um, and the security concept is made by us. And as long as we don't write this in there, the police said we won't agree to the security concept. And in this moment, the police, uh, the local police said we are, that's no longer our area and they moved it up a level to the police pre president of Neubrandenburg, Niels Hoffmann Ritterbusch, and this was the person we were then supposed to talk to. Then there was a lot of hassle with lawyers. We told our rights position in this case that we don't see any justification for the police in this case. And then the office, two weeks later, gave this letter that the whole festival was to be prohibited. Die Veranstaltung Fusion Festival 2019 untersagt. So this was just a simple letter in which the Amt Röbel Müritz, the official office, was denied uh, the allowance to have the festival. And the main reason they gave for this was that there was no common agreement with the police on the security concept. They said there has to be an agreement on the security concept with the authorities, but we're not going to explain. So they said if there is no agreement, there is no festival. Well, we thought, well, I'm good, but the police is going haywire. Und, um, haben quasi einen Schlachtplan erstellt. And we made our plans for fighting against this. So at this point we said um, there's no backdoor policies anymore. The only thing that helps in this situation where everyone is kind of working against us will have to take this discussion down to a fax level and we have to change something. So one of the elements that we thought about then was to have a campaign for a festival. And one side of this was to have a very openly formulated 
text um, to get or evoke, revoke as much uh, civil society pressure as we could manage. So this is what we did, and we um, put a website online, which I'm showing here. This is an old version, so there's a couple of thousand people more who signed this, but in the first few weeks, um, almost 140,000 people signed this already um, for the freedom of arts and culture. In addition, a lot of organizations have signed, of course the Chaos Computer Club did as well, but also the FDP, which is the German Economist Party. Und wenn die einen gemeinsamen Nenner, wenn die FDP und keine Knete trotzdem fehlte, einen gemeinsamen Nenner. And there was also like a liberal organization called Keine Knete, Keine Fete. And if they, with the Communist Party, agree on this common uh, signing of agreeing on the fusion festival having to happen, then that's something. So for over 20 years, we've never gone public, and usually we also avoid uh, media work or press relations, um, because usually it works in the way that you talk to your friends about Fusion Festival, this is what we like, but for over 20 years we've never really put efforts into doing press work, no advertising for the festival, and also there is no accreditation for any journalists on the grounds of the festival. So we were kind of asking ourselves how to do the work with the press. First of all, we needed a press team. I was part of the press team because um, I've been guiding this progress for a while now. Also from the CCC, someone joined, um, whose name, of course, I'm not going to mention. But I'm saying thanks, Linus. You did a great job in this. Und wir haben uns dann im Prinzip überlegt, wie framen wir das Ganze, also was sind hier eigentlich unsere Argumente? Und wir dachten, okay, wie zu framen, das ganze Ding, was sind unsere Argumente? Was wir dann wirklich in jedem Interview immer wieder reingehämmert haben. Und etwas, das wir dann in jedem Interview um, a phrase that we then generated was the police patrol without cause or reason, anlasslose Bestreifung in German. So, without reason means without any outer cause, and Bestreifung means, or patrol, to be observed by police patrol. Da ist es wirklich so, dass große Teile der Bevölkerung, wenn sie das als Fragestellung kriegen, sagen, so, huge parts of the population will say that nothing, really nothing, has to be observed by a police patrol without any other given reasons. So a mid-festival around the clock and surveillance, these are the things that when looking at the press, our uh, interviews that we gave out in this time, we always managed to fit these phrases in. So, at first we wanted to wait for a week to prepare for all the press work. We had a couple of pre-talks with journalists to see how they felt about it, what their opinion was. They, of course, wanted to do their media releases. And we got a lot of um, questions from journalists that all wanted to come out with their articles by Thursday. And with this, we confronted the police president of Neubrandenburg, gave, giving them a deadline on Friday. And this is something new, because not every day some of the main... Uh, Newspapers in Germany call the police president of Neubrandenburg, so they um, were quite. Uh, this caught their attention. And when, then we took flight and went to the radio station Mecklenburg Vorpommern, which is a neighbor state. Uh, we said. Okay, our questions regarding the security concept have remained unanswered for 24 hours, although they had been there. Die sich eben nicht auf die Polizeiwache beziehen, sondern hier auf Entfluchtung und auf alles Mögliche. So apparently there's security standards about that don't um, 
that are not related to the police patrol directly, but rather like uh, migration and other other uh, situations that could be related to security. And also our security concept hasn't shrunk compared to the previous years, but it's rather increased with every subsequent year. And every year it's been enough, but then it had to be like in increased and increased. And apparently it was never sufficient. Um, so we see that this was apparently a, a fake reason, a reason they put forward to somehow put through this police patrol on the festival grounds. And I told us, so if you're not able to write a, a sufficient security protocol or security standards, then you have to at least accept the police patrol on the grounds of the festival. So the intermediate status on Friday was the fusion at zero points police had won. And then on Monday, the fighting started. So the whole public uh, mood was suddenly against this on Monday. So one of the main, or the Ostsee Zeitung titled that um, something with a fusion festival in the headline. And one of my favorite headlines is um, the organizers against the police, the Fusion Festival is the most popular festival in the world and the fight for it has begun. So the intermediate state on Monday was, this was really a home run for us because suddenly all the newspapers were aware and Fusion had three points against the police of only one point. So we didn't um, allow them to instrumentalize us. But rather people realized that we didn't have much press work, but we did have a lot of visitors. People went home um, with a lot of fun in their hearts. And it's also a good, uh, a good average of overall society. Um, people that wrote the articles often knew the festival. They had even been guests and visitors of the festival themselves, and they couldn't really understand what this festival was all about. Then there was the press conference of the police in Neubrandenburg with all the invited authorities. And we also had a couple of journalists that came and reported from there. Und dann wurde der Rest mit so Behördenleuten vollgemacht hinten, die hinteren Sitzreihen. So this was a very, uh, very just useful and ugly building and for about 200 people that had been filled with a couple of uh, people that they then invited when the remaining seats were still open. We, at the same time, did our own press conference in the Maxim Gorky Theater in Berlin. Und davon wollte ich euch ein paar Ausschnitte zeigen. And I want to show you a couple of excerpts from this press conference. Der Nachbarschaft nämlich an Henry Tesch, Bürgermeister von Miro. Ja. Okay, so I'm asking the mayor of Miro, which is the city closest to Fusion Festival. Ich habe wirklich noch mal heute Morgen überlegt, um, in den letzten 20, 30 Jahren innerhalb von 48 Stunden um, noch niemals so viele Menschen aus so this morning I thought that in the last 20, 30 years I had never seen so many people from different social and other groups being united, um, being enraged about what happens regarding Fusion Festival. And about the position that the police president stands for, that there should be a mobile uh, watch and police station on the festival area. And also about the quote that nobody intends to prohibit fusion. And it sounds very much like the German quote, nobody intends to build a wall. You don't believe this. These are the people that decide these things are just intermediately in, or are in office, haven't been in office for a long time. And we really have no words for them taking this decision. In our government, nobody says we're, we're blind and deaf, but 
All of this discussion goes to the responsibility of the police president. This is nothing that we want and this is going for any aim. This festival is a cultural space. All of us know that whatever challenges we face, the organizers do not wish for a police patrol on the festival area. Only if the situation requires it. And police experts tell me that this is actually no problem to put down all these arguments, but we can rather solve these with the security concepts given. Suchen Sie mir irgendeine Region in Deutschland, in Europa, heraus, wo in einem so großen. Give me any region in Germany or even Europe. Where we managed to have such a big society of people together, together, and nobody feels threatened or unwelcome. We can have a look at every day's police report, and this is rarely the case. We have to ask ourselves now what does this situation mean? The females in the region had this joke that they said, okay, the police president really also wants to join the fusion festival for once. We said it's possible to do this, and it may sound weird, but I'm sick of, after 20 years, suppressing subcultures. And then that there's going to be articles in the newspapers about Eastern Germany, say something about the authorities. In my opinion, you should invite the authorities. We did manage a lot that has never happened before. And they should be invited to look at how these things work out on the festival area. And everything is totally well organized. There's been 20,000 people coming together, celebrating together. Das Sicherheitsversprechen dieses Landes wird am Ende darauf beruhen, dass wir alle miteinander in, in, in Kommunikation sind. And our security promise really relies on us communicating and interacting together. And having these structures organized, and I'm totally angry about these structures being destroyed by the authorities every time. And the damage caused by this single president, every single one has to rebuild and has to put in the effort to make up for this. Sofort den Vorschlag innerhalb von einer Sekunde vom Tisch stehen, was das bedeutet, auf dem Gelände eine Station zu machen. Zweitens. So we're refusing point blank to have the station on the grounds, and we have to deny this to the police straight away. Das ist der Punkt und von mir aus gehe ich so weit. Ich habe auch mit meinen anderen Kollegen Bürgermeistern gesprochen. Denn lasst uns doch Ende des Jahres. Talk to my fellow mayors. Let's have a look at these structures, at these subcultures. And I think we can learn a lot more from these than we can anywhere else. This is Henry Tesch, mayor from Miro. He is in the CDU, the Christian Democratic Party, which is rather conservative, so that's quite extraordinary for him to speak out like this. So here is a crossword puzzle where it says festival in where the police is in charge and the solution is fusion. And then we hear that the newspaper Die Zeit has got documents that the police is uh, uh, trying to um, prepare for the fusion festival with like a lot of people and they have documents where there is 1,000 policemen being deployed for the festival and previously there were 200 so if you have this in visual terms you see this tiny policeman down there and uh, so like 1,000 if you put this in relation to this one person is this big one do you even see the small policeman? And another thing in the documents was water cannons, and here I just brought you a picture. 
and tanks, which we also apparently need there, and also a special unit against blockages, which we know from Wendlan if someone is locked down to uh, something. And then there was this person from the AfD, the right-wing German party, and in our case this was this person, like, what's his name? I forgot him. Klaas Ulf, Ulf Theodor Klaassen. He's a policeman, or he used to be a policeman, who, he's, so he is in the AfD and he is from the police, so he had an info point for the AfD and there were people who were peacefully holding uh, banners and he sprayed them with pepper spray, ran away, bought a pepper spray which is less severe and like sprayed around with it a little bit and then he, when he was uh, arrested he pretended to have used the less severe pepper spray so then he had to so then he was officially moved to a university FH Gusto a police university where he was supposed to uh, teach new police people in training um, and he told one student to do one essay on uh, how the police should be dealing with the fusion and in this combination um, having this AfD po politician who is also with the police and who is teaching there and then the fusion just started tweeting Oh no, the police started tweeting about the F Fusion Festival that they weren't planning to have water cannons or the tanks. And then the Bild was publishing an article, no water cannons or tanks at the Fusion. So the police was going down and saying like, no, actually not. The, these documents are very old. And like, actually, these documents were just one or two weeks old. And then we had a demonstration in Leerz. Leerz is a small place where the fusion is happening. So. Okay, hello and good morning. <laughs> I'm amazed by this. When we said spontaneously on Wednesday, we have to do something. Because some people said, what is happening here about the fusion? This can't be. This is why we are here. I'm amazed by the situation. For your information, um, I'm from the area and I co-organized this meeting, this demonstration here. Who are we? Why are we here? What do we want? We are just citizens, simple citizens. Citizens who live in this area. Why we are here? We are here to make a sign. What we want, we want to show that we don't agree to the police work here and where they want to have a police station at the festival. We don't agree to this. We, we are saying this can't be the case. Video gibt's auf YouTube und this video is on YouTube and on other channels, so you can watch the full video, you can watch the whole thing, it's very interesting. So then the fusion was debated in the Bundestag and so the nationwide government said, yeah, like, we are, that's not our responsible and then it was moved to the uh, g uh, government of Brandenburg. Uh, and so the Landtag and the Die Linke brought up this topic and Cavier said, yes, yeah, th these documents are very old, they are no longer up to date and there will be no police patrols on the festival. And 
Then we updated our security concept and renewed it, which had a lot of updated stuff. Uh, but no police patrol, no police station on the area. And it had a, a lot of stuff included, which we already had offered. And we just put the label new on it and put it on the table again. And the police just agreed to it right away because the, they were under pressure f from the public. Sometimes it can be that easy. And then actually the police showed up two days previous to the event and put up this container which doesn't have the TIFF so it doesn't have the official guarantee so it is allowed to put, be put up. So then we said without the TIFF, without this official label you can't have this container because we can't put up stuff without this official label. Uh, and then the police said it actually has the TIFF label but we just didn't bring the label here. And then the festival just happened and the police, uh, well, just had to take it, suck it up, basically, and they weren't interested to escalate it anymore, more, and we had a new person from the police to talk to, and next to the police control station, someone put up a poster which said Love Fusion, Hate Cops, and we got a call, can you put this down? And we said, well, no, that's just like a opinion being stated. And then in the end, when the fusion was over, they actually asked whether they could take the poster with them. So after the festival. Okay. Und zwar gibt's ein anderes Festival in der Nähe bei Neustadt Kleve. There is an other festival in close to Neustadt Kleve and that's a different festival where people have German flags from Germany and there is a lot of police being stationed and the police had this video being produced. The hashtag says festival only goes together, only works together. Thank you for the police that they make a summary why we don't want to have them there. And I'm closing this now. I talked about our fight and the question is what do we learn here? What I think we learn that it's possible to uh, fight against these very strong forces from the state when you go to the public, when you find a topic where you have an emotional connection to the civic society, to the public, then you have this moment where you can just fight back against authorities. And the last thing we have here is a song from a citizen close by. And I want to say, we as Kulturkosmos, we don't own the messages in this song, but I want to show this video to show the, like all the opinions from the people from this region. And after this video is over, Euler is joining me on stage and we are doing a Q&A. So I'm here in the garden. So I'm here in this garden. I want to play a song for police president of Neubrandenburg, Herr Nils Hoffmann Ritterbusch, who is involved. Like I think you know about the discussion around the fusion. Just for you, a small boy sat at home. He felt lonely. His parents were never home and he didn't have friends. So some hours felt actually rather painful. He was very small and not very bright. But especially someone like this needs attention. He was alone and said, you will notice me when I'm tall, when I'm grown up, I will be ready. His childhood of Niels Hoffmann Hellerbusch was shitty. 
and mean. So his career as a police president was like, no, I'm being angry about your nice childhood. We are celebrating the Fusion Festival for over 20 years. We are meeting people from around the world. It's so wonderful how people treat each other. No one of us calls the police. The police aren't actually willing to go here and want to disturb this event. But uh, they have agreed to work there and have to work for Niels. The child of, of Niels Hoffmann, Hella Busch. For his career as a police president, he went into every ass. What is our conclusion for this boy? Can we help him? I think it's too late. If it goes badly for him, he will be alone again. But helpful will be coffee. We should look at the local politicians who are on our side. Through the election, we have some influence whether they will be paid by our tax money. So the childhood of every small human should be protected, loved and safe. As we can see, when a, someone has a bad childhood, a tiny person can grow into a pig. So the childhood of every tiny human should be protected, loved and safe. As we can see, if someone has a bad childhood with a bit of bad luck, a tiny uh, human will become a cop. So, ich möchte so I want to say to, we have to apologize for two things. If you are a police president, you don't have to be a pig. Like some people who came before you have actually proven this. And I would be ashamed in your place, actually. And the second point, to compare you to a pig, is not quite right. I brought up two boars uh, with a bottle, and they are very social. Yeah. Greetings from my place here. So now we have a round of questions. Whoever has questions, come on stage. So we have two angels with microphones. Please line up in front of them. Is there a question from the internet? Nein, bisher noch nicht. Okay, apparently not. So here's the first question. Der Polizeipräsident hat sich absolut dilettantisch verhalten. Police president had a very diligent attitude, like a beginner. Is there any consequences for him? I've never heard about any negative consequences for any police president. There is one, but it's not official. He just messed up totally within his region. People say about him things ranging from I don't know him to he destroys everything. But the microphone doesn't run. So there has to be an exchange. Test. 
Okay. Also ihr müsst euch dann das Mikrofon teilen. Wir kriegen ein, wir teilen uns das Mikrofon. Alles. So the mic will be shared. Um, willst du noch eine Antwort auf die Frage geben? Do you want to give an answer to that question? So he's still police president. But to be honest, he's not in the focus for us. Um, we have totally different people with whom we talk. Also, after the festival, there was a new relation who introduced herself very nicely. And we expect that we don't have to um, expect an attack like this year again. With the little they had afterwards, the small police patrol, they were quite satisfied. And those seven suings regarding very little things. So they were regretting entering this whole discussion about um, safety measures and leaks in the security plans. In the end, everything worked out very well. The Kultur Cosmos has organized the festival very well. If there was any problem, it was solved right away. And this is a very different basis for the whole agreement on security for next year. Thank you very much. There's another question. A major part of the fusion guests is very political and there has been a grassroots movement in case that there might have been police on the festival area. Were you prepared for a serious escalation of things? Could there have anything happened from your point of view? Well, as long as we assume that they don't move and they put through this police station, then we expected a certain potential for conflict and you really don't want to imagine what will happen then. We said that there has to be a consensus on action that we don't determine, but where people can choose on which level they want to push it through, which is also bearable for us. But in reality, it would probably have not been feasible in a practical way. Do you have any questions from the internet? No. No additional questions? Here's another question. Also... So Fusion is not just any festival and also not very small. So my question is, how can you transport what you've learned to any festival that's smaller? In those recent, in those recent months, um, it became clear that clubs or other, other events near Berlin have similar problems. So how can you use your experiences for any festivals or groups that are not as well set up organization-wise as you are. So, of course, we talk to different organizers and it's pretty cool if a 70,000 people festival has made this point first. So, Nobody can easily say that we have another 70,000 people festival where this doesn't work out as well. And there could be a situation where 10,000, 15,000 people's festival says, okay, why won't it work for us like this if it worked at Fusion? Also, the absence of Kultur Cosmos from the public has changed slightly. So probably they will be involved more into political everyday business again. For instance, regarding the support of the new police president in Mecklenburg-Vorpommern. And there's also initiatives um, initiatives for collaboration of the different festival organizers 
asking themselves what are we confronted with, how do we cope with the increased uh, fuss about security, how can we still realize what our cultural uh, imagination and ideas are, how do we deal with security plans we want to fulfill or don't want to fulfill and how do we cope with the authorities and agree on how to put this through. There's a lot of demand for communication internally and also with the authorities and we don't want to resist against this. We're open for discussion and to see how we can involve others in this. Okay, unfortunately we have to close the session. Um, so this next question will be answered directly by the speakers. Advertisement. Ich bin hier noch mal auf einer anderen Bühne. Um, so on a different note, an advertisement. The speaker is going to be on a different stage on Sunday in the Three-Headed Monkeys. So it's going to deal with a police president who is still police president, also the state lawyer who is still a state lawyer. Was ich am Anfang vergessen habe. And most importantly, I want to mention what I forgot in the, bidding, in the beginning. I really want to thank all participants, everyone who made this camp possible, every organizer, every angel, every helper. Thanks for this cool camp. Thanks. This was the talk. Thank you, Stefan. Thank you for listening. To